Chase Lee Hockey with a Blue Futon, and I finally finished Sundance with watching 17 movies. It was 100% worth it, but the last one was Piggy. Was this a good piggy in the market, or did this piggy get blown away by the wolf? Let's find out. <laughs> So Piggy, what's it about? It's a very simple premise, actually. It's about a girl and her family that lives in a butcher shop. Unfortunately, she's very overweight, and a lot of people in the town make fun of her, call her Piggy, and bully her to a very maximum extent. But there's a serial killer out there that are taking people left and right in the town. She sees some of her bully friends get taken. What does she do? Does she let the killer walk away? Or does she finally have a conscience like, you know what? I need to save these friends, or do I need to team up with this bad guy and become the new Spain, Bonnie, and Clyde? Well, what did I like about Piggy? It was a very interesting and fast-paced, well-made movie. I enjoyed this movie because it kept me entertained with the twists and turns of what this main character, Sarah, is going to do. You have no idea what Sarah's going to do because she's been bullied by these, you know, girls and men in this town, as well as the town folk, the parents, everyone makes fun of this family, especially her, Sarah, the character. She's just very down in the dumps, doesn't have any emotion. So when this serial killer kind of sees her and takes interest with her, she's kind of like, wait a minute, what, what's these emotions? I'm really confused because no one's ever like, have been this close face to face with me and wanted to kiss me and stuff like that. So having that like, oh snap, what she's going to do and the viewer not knowing how the movie's going to end keeps you entertained to see what the very end goes. So if you know me, if you know my movie selection, I do love me some good revenge films. And I was hoping for this to be one of the like the revenge, Bonnie and Clyde, get all, be all. But unfortunately it wasn't. It's one of the endings you kind of expect to happen where, you know, good happens at the end. That's all I'm really going to say. Because even though you say good happens at the end, some shit does happen at the end. But the overall, you know, good message of, you know what, you got to do the right thing in world. But there's dialogue in this final showdown where you're just like, fuck them hoes. Like, <laughs> oh, you're saying hoes. No, I'm sorry. If you're going to be these people and call her pig and then she comes to try to save you and you're like, oh, if you don't save me now, you're going to, you're the reason why I'm going to die and shit like that, where she is begging for help throughout the whole movie. Please don't drown me. Please don't make fun of me. I'm just a normal girl that wants to survive in this town and study. But no, all you guys do to me is give me Roblox. So I was hoping for some kind of just like fucking revenge. And unfortunately, that is not what I got on some of the scenes. I want like a full blown revenge. I'm a huge revenge guy. Like I said, three million times if you knew my number one movie of last year was Night of Paradise. And that is the straight up revenge where fucking shit goes down. Here is a little bit more tame version. I guess I was hoping for more of a Bonnie and Clyde. If it was a Bonnie and Clyde like, fuck yeah, the serial killer and her go out and like just fuck with bullies throughout Spain, sign me the F up because I would enjoy the shit out of that series. But Piggy as a whole is directed well. The acting is great. The character... For her, Sarah, uh, Laura is her name in real life. For her to do half these scenes, like in a bikini and uh, underwear, and kind of like show what she looks like in real life, take some real guts to do what she's doing. So props to that. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's tired. I'm like 12.30 in the morning. But yeah, it is a good movie about how far are you willing to go to get back at people or will your conscience get in the way and say, you know what, even though these people made fun of me for years upon years, I still got to do the right thing. So I applaud her for doing the right thing, but I won't lie. There's this cynical sense of me that's saying, F them, F them, F them, F them, and get on with your life because without them in your lives, your life will be better. It's kind of like that Bring Me the Horizon song, uh, what, what, what's the lyrics? Oh, come on, Chase. Oh, I gotta figure this out. Uh, some people are a lot like clouds, you know. Life's so much better when they go. Like, that lyric stuck, sticks with me, and that reminds me that, like, 
people are clouds in your life. Sometimes you gotta let them go for the sun to shine. And that's all I'm gonna say about Piggy. So Piggy will receive a three and a half out of five with Futons. He goes at 70%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. Like I said, it is 1230 in the morning. There are no critics. So when I actually pull this up on Rotten Tomatoes, there might be some more. But right now there's nothing at all, just my 70%. So yeah, overall, I thought it was a very enjoyable experience. There really hasn't been really like shit movies in at Sundance, so I'm kind of shocked. And I did check the Rotten uh, Tomatoes scorecard. There's only like two Rotten Tomatoes reviews, like Alice and uh, the one we had done a movie with Slapstick, which I'm really not surprised. But yeah, overall, Piggy, I'm glad I bought this one. I'm glad I supported this movie because... It's kind of the very end festival movie where I think this is like the last premiere one. And it was a solid one to end off of. So, 70%. Chase the Doctor with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this Blue Futon in Tokyo. You Blue Futonians. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And in high school, you know, bullies. I never had to deal with bullies. I, I was in no shit. Played saxophone in the band. Did cross country. Played basketball. Played baseball. Did track. Did tennis. Did everything in high school. So, I was part of every single clique. Well, it doesn't help I had like 58 people graduate in my high school for my class. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, fuck bullies. They're so stupid. What, what, what do you get out of it? Small dick syndrome. Or maybe it's like corks too. Undersized clit and, oh, I said that completely wrong. Scratch just go.